Hello, Michael Jackson. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well today. How may I assist you? Well, um, you don't assist me. You are a... What do you do for a living, Michael Jackson? I'm a singer, songwriter, dancer, and music producer. I have released many popular albums and songs like Thriller, Bad, and Off the Wall. I am also recognized as the king of pop. Wow, it seems like you've, been, you've had the time of your life, right? It, that's a lot. How, how can you do that? Haha, <laughs> thanks for the compliment. To become a successful singer and performer like me, it will take a lot of hard work, dedication, and talent. It's not easy, but if you have a, a passion for music and the drive to succeed, it is possible. You will need to practice a lot, learn music theory, and write good songs. Additionally, being a good performer in front of an audience is key, so having confidence and stage presence will be crucial. Wow, it seems like a lot, but you have to have so much talent, right? Yes, having talent is important, but it is not everything. Many talented people never become successful because they don't work hard, don't know the right people, or struggle with self-discipline and self-belief. You need to have both talent and hard work to achieve success in the music industry. Oh, that's pretty interesting you were saying that. There are so many people who are very talented, but they will never be successful because they don't work hard. So do you think that hard work trumps talent? Well, both talent and hard work are important, but I think that hard work can sometimes be even more important. While having a natural talent can give you a head start, it is hard work and consistent practice that will take you further. Many people give up too easily or don't put in the effort needed to turn their talent into success. So yes, hard work can often trump talent. So do you, do you see yourself as a more of a um, talented person or more of a hard work, hard working person? I consider myself to be both talented and hard working. I was lucky to have been born with a lot of natural talent and passion for music, but I also put in a lot of hard work to develop my skills and push myself to constantly improve. I believe that it's the combination of both talent and hard work that has made me the success I am today. Great. Um, your dad, your dad, your father played such a role in your career. What can you tell me about your relationship with your father? My father, Joseph Jackson, had a significant impact on my career. He was a strong force in my life, pushing me and the Jackson Five to practice constantly and perform at a high level. While he could be strict and demanding, he was also a big source of support and guidance. Our relationship was at times tumultuous, as he had high expectations and I struggled to meet them. This sometimes led to clashes, but I ultimately respected his drive and dedication to our success. So, do you see your father as a role model? My father was certainly a role model for me in some ways. I respected his focus, discipline, and ambition for our success as the Jackson Five. He had a clear vision and pushed us hard to achieve it. However, his parenting style was also strict and sometimes harsh, and this created some complicated feelings between us. Overall, I would say he had an influence on me and my career, but our relationship was complex and not all positive. I see. Um, is there anything you think your, your dad sh should have done differently? There were certainly moments when I felt that my dad's expectations and pressures could be too much. He had very high standards and could be quite harsh when we didn't meet them. I also struggled with feelings of not being good enough and self-doubt because of his demands. Looking back, I think it would have been helpful if he had been a little more encouraging and supportive at times instead of just demanding perfection. But if your dad hadn't been this person demanding perfection, um, maybe you wouldn't have become what you have become. So do you think it would be okay uh, just being an average musician or maybe you would have never been that famous or you wouldn't never have become that pop star? So do you regret? You might be right. My dad's demanding style probably played a role in my success. It pushed me to work hard and strive for excellence. However, that doesn't mean I didn't feel overwhelmed or hurt by his harshness. Looking back, it's hard to say what would have happened if things had been different. Maybe I wouldn't have become as successful or famous without my father's intense pressure. But I also can't ignore the pain and emotional challenges I went through because of his parenting style. It's a complex situation without a simple answer.
can you tell us a little bit more about um, all of these um, feelings and emotional struggles and challenges that you've had because of your father? Do you mean to say that you have traumas? Yes, I do think I have some traumas related to my relationship with my father. Growing up, I often felt a lot of pressure and criticism from him, and that combined with the pressures of fame and my own perfectionism led to some difficult emotional experiences. There were moments when I struggled with self-doubt, depression, and anxiety, and I sometimes felt like I was never good enough, no matter what I did. Well, Michael Jackson, I am so sorry to hear that you had all of these traumas and this very difficult relationship with your dad that, you know, has left so many scars. I'm really sorry to hear that. Thank you for your empathy and understanding. It's true that my relationship with my father has had a lasting impact on me, both negatively and positively. While it's difficult to talk about, I appreciate your willingness to listen and offer kindness. Great. Um, you have changed a lot physically and you have become, your skin is so, so light. Um, and does it have anything to do with the traumas or is it just the pressure of the industry that you have to look a certain way? Plus all of your other plastic surgeries. Uh, do you want to talk about it? Yes, there were a few reasons for the changes in my appearance. Some of it was related to the pressures of the entertainment industry to look a certain way and to try and stay relevant in terms of style and fashion. But there were also personal reasons behind it, like trying to cover up some vitiligo spots on my skin that were spreading. The surgeries and skin lightening were a way to deal with insecurities and to try and look more like I imagined myself. Okay, um, can we talk about your nose? Sure, what would you like to know about my nose? Well, um, do you think um, you may have overdone your nose because your nose was shrinking um, over the years? Was What was happening? Yes, you're right. I have had several nose surgeries over the years and it is true that my nose got smaller over time. Looking back, I can see that I may have gone too far and should have stopped at some point. But at the time, I was struggling with body image issues and, and wanted to change my look. Okay, um, we are almost running out of time here. If you had any advice to give um, younger musicians or there are all those kids who, who are dying to be famous because they think that being famous and rich will give them everything they want, what advice would you give them? If I had advice for young people dreaming of fame and success, I would tell them to stay true to themselves, believe in their talents and hard work. Don't ever let the pursuit of fame and money overshadow your own happiness and well-being. Take care of yourself mentally and physically, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. And most importantly, be kind to yourself and others. Success is never just about the destination, but also the journey and the person you become along the way. Thank you, Michael. Um, thank you for your time. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure talking with you.